How's it going, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to make a smooth topology bowl for Blender. So you're going to start off by pressing the Z button up here so you can get the top-down view. Press Shift-A and make a plane. Scale that up a little bit. Go into edit mode, edge select, and I'm going to extrude these. This is just to make the shape of the bowl. It's up to you. So I'm going to move this one down a little bit. And move that one up a little bit. And now we're going to go into face select mode. Press A. And then control X to merge all the faces. Now we're going to select these four verts. Control shift B. And you want to make them smooth. So just kind of make it look good to how you want it. And then we're going to select these four here. And do the same thing. Don't need to have as many bevel points. So I'm just going to keep mine like that. It's looking pretty good. So we're going to go into face select mode, press X, and then delete only faces. Now we can go out of edit mode by pressing tab, press object, convert to curve for mesh text. That's the first part now. We'll just rename this to bowl shape. Now we can create another plane. We just have to snap it to one of these vertices here. And then we'll type in R Y 90. And that'll make it vertical. Also, this bowl size compared to this, it's pretty big. So we're just going to go and shrink this down a little bit by pressing S. We'll move that back. And now we're going to go into edit mode, vertices, and delete this top corner. So we're going to delete vertices. There we go. You're going to select this bottom one, Control shift b And bowls nowadays are worth having good geometry, so we're going to scale this up so it's decently smooth. We're going to press A, mesh, clean up, merge by distance. And now we're going to delete these top two, just so it's a smoother transition for the coping. I'm only going to do the top one here because it's already a pretty good angle. Once you're done making the curve shape and you have it all set up, you're going to go to Object, Convert to Curve from Mesh Text. We're going to go over to this bowl shape here. And we're going to select the in the Object Data tab, Geometry Bevel, we're going to select the object to be plain. And now you see we'll have the bowl here, but it looks pretty wonky. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to do a scale y minus one and that will invert it and now we're going to do scale z minus one so you basically just have to flip it until it seems right and you can scale this reference so it's approximately the right size and as you can see the edges here are pretty hard and will make for a very smooth transition so I'm going to scale it along the z-axis, stretch it a little bit, and now you can see we've got some pretty smooth curves. So we're going to do object, convert to mesh, and now we can get rid of this, we don't need it anymore, and we're going to fill in the bottom place. So you want to select these four here, so it creates a face. And then you just need to select these two and hold F and it'll fill the bowl in for you. Fully quads. Now, while we're in this stage, we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier. And we can just set the quality to 1. And this will make the bowl much smoother. We can press apply. You can see we've got a very, very smooth bowl that's entirely quads. So now we're just going to select this top edge loop, extrude, scale, pull it out, and then we're going to select approximately this edge here. We're going to scale Y and scale it by zero to make a flat edge. We're going to move it out a little bit, and then we're going to do the same thing over here. Scale Y zero, G to move, Y to move along the Y axis. Then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to scale along the x-axis. 
So the once again. So there we have the basic shape of the bowl. Now we're gonna make it smooth. So we're gonna do shade smooth and go over to this tab, normals, auto smooth. And now I'll make sure the hard edges are saved. Now we're just gonna quickly do some coping for it. So you wanna go to edge select, alt click this top edge to select the entire thing. Shift D to duplicate, make sure it's in the place. And you wanna press P to separate and separate by selection. So now you can see we have this kind of edge, I guess. So we're gonna go once again, object, convert to curve for mesh text. Now that we have it, we're gonna go back to our geometry tab and set the depth or the, yeah, set the depth to about 0 0.1. That looks a little big. Set 0 0.07. This is all gonna depend on how big your actual bowl is. Ideally, you want to have your resolution at an odd number, so you have this flat surface up top. So I'm just going to set mine at 5. And now we just mess with the offset. You want to do usually just a little bit less than half, so I'll do 0 0.002 offset. Maybe a bit bigger, 0 0.03. That looks good. And now we're going to press G, Z to move it down a little bit. Just like that. So now we've got this bowl and we just need to shade smooth and we can bring this back to a mesh so we're going to do object convert to mesh and there you go you have a extremely clean bowl ready to be made in unity thanks for watching